Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a first look at FS2 Crew, and this is the edition for the 737. We're going to be going over the basically the pre-flight, this will not be full flight, and we're going to be taking a good look at the software itself. So what is FS2 Crew? It is basically your first officer and pilot monitoring, and you're the captain and pilot flying. Uh, it does have callouts, it basically helps you fly the plane. And it's quite nice since in real life uh, you're not going to be flying one of these by yourself. So here we can take a good look at the settings. I assigned the button control to one of my joystick keys. And what this does is this is this button right here so you can proceed to the next. Um, option item. So airline call sign Ryanair UK since we are flying a Ryanair uh, 737. Flight option we have Edson Transponder, FO pre-flight. You can toggle these on and off such as the ATC requests. If you're gonna be flying on VETSIM or if you're using FS HUD something like that uh, you don't really have to use the ATC requests on FS2 Crew itself. We're gonna leave this on. I do want to show what it's like. Okay. So checking this uh, software right here, you can move this around. Really nice. As for the icons on top of FS2 Crew, here we have expand and shrink FS2 Crew menu. So you can hide this. Settings, uh, main ops manual panel, and it's basically the PDF that's gonna tell you the it's the manual itself. Uh, this is the assists, so you can hide this down below. We're gonna leave this on so you can see what's going on. Info center. Here is if you have pushback express. Uh, departure and approach brief. So gate pushback. First flight of the day, threats, assume temp, rated, leads on. Right here we start our pre-flights, our pre-flights, so this is what we're going to be using. Uh, Captain's PA, manual flow, hide upper panel, this is the QR code, fairly, fairly nice. Kill switch. You can pin this. So let's go let's over. Let's start setting up. Okay. I'm gonna be a little bit quiet so you can hear this. FS2 crew requested the jetway. And if you look on the on the number here, 24, this is around the time it takes. So you can fast forward this. So if the if FS2 crew is not doing anything, it's not going through any flow whatsoever, you can fast forward. If it's going through anything, this will flash red and it's not gonna do anything. So let's fast forward. Pre-flight. Okay, it started.
what FSG crew is doing right now is it is testing the systems. Stick shaker. I'm heading out for the uh, walk around. Such a nice detail. Such a nice detail. So, as you can see, uh, FS2 crew helps you by doing the tests. It's literally a first officer. It also set our IRS up here. Now we can fast forward again. Hi, the security and safety check are all done. Are we good to start boarding? Yes, yeah, so you could start boarding. Thanks. Let's fast forward again. I'm back. There are no issues on the walk around. Good airplane. Okay. And right here, the captain flow assist. This is what we should do. So master lights test, dim switch test. All of this oxygen test. Wide slope. Pull up. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. Airspeed low. Airspeed low. Sink rate. Pull up. Terrain. Pull up. Don't sink. Don't sink. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Gear. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Terrain. Glide slope. Bank angle. Bank angle. Approaching minimums. Minimums. 2,500. 1,000. 500. 100. 50. 30. 20. 10. Wind shear. Wind shear. Wind shear. Too low. Terrain. Caution, terrain. Terrain, terrain, pull up.
TCAS test pass. Hi, here's the fuel slip. Thanks. Welcome. Have a nice flight. Okay, so the first officer did move the FMC on his side to the takeoff page. Nice. We just got the fuel slip. And as you can see here, it says request HC clearance, which we can do by pressing this button, or you can assign a button, just like I showed on the settings page. And this should be the flow, um, the Boeing flow. So different airlines uh, could have potentially different uh, procedures. Request ATC clearance. Good morning, Blue Max. One two zero one. Blue Max. One two zero one is at the gate with the numbers. Request ATC clearance. Okay, cleared to our destination as far. Score code as assigned. Blue Max. One, two, zero, one. Let's fast forward a little bit. Departure brief, and this is where we go for this right here. So we are at a gate. And if you hover over each of these, you can see so noise abatement departure procedure, so not required. It is first flight of the day. Rats. Birds. It will be a rated takeoff. Leads are on. Forced return, we're going to be overweight. Actually, forced return, we're going to be underweight. APU on, no. Anti ice not required. Departure procedure, we're going to be following the SID. Run brief. Are you ready for the departure brief? Go ahead. Okay, it's going to be a standard pushback and start off the gate. Taxi route will be as assigned by ATC. It'll be a left seat takeoff using rated thrust. Anti ice will be off. Standard reject actions to V1 is briefed. From V1, or if the calls continue, I will continue the takeoff as per the standard company procedures. We are under our maximum landing weight, so we are okay to make an immediate return. The departure routing will be via the ATC assigned SID, complying with all published speeds and altitude restrictions. No noise abatement procedures required. Birds are in the area, so we will see and avoid as best we can. Any questions, comments, or concerns? No questions. Departure brief complete. Hi guys, here's the load sheet for you. Thank you. No problem, have a safe flight. Thank you. Now we can keep going. Would you like the APU on? Okay. Starting the APU. Gentlemen, welcome on board today. As you locate your assigned seats, please place your smaller items under the seat in front of you to provide more room for larger items in our overhead compartments. If you need assistance, contact the flight attendant. If you are unable to accommodate any item in the cabin, please bring it to the boarding door and we will check it for you. Also review the safety instruction card in your seat pocket. If you are seated at an exit seat, also review the exit seating criteria. Fairly nice. I'm gonna set 
the MCP just so we can go through this. Uh, it's gonna be a random. Okay. Let's imagine we've been cleared for 7,000. There we go. Hey guys, all packs are on board. Are we clear to close? Yep. Yes. Thanks. Let me know if you need anything. Nice. So select takeoff page on CDU. Flight deck windows close. Obtain clearance to pressurize the hydraulics. This is optional. And the trims should be set around now. Let's imagine we have 4.8 something. There we go. And we can request pushback and start clearance. Uh, we can also go through the pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist. Oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Navigation transfer and display switches. Normal. Auto. Window heat. On. Pressurization mode selector. Auto. Flight instruments. Heading 166. Six. Altimeter 1013. One, one, Heading 166. Six. Altimeter 1013. One, one, Parking brake. Set. Engine start levers. And yep. Cut off. Pre flight checklist completed. As you can see, this is fairly nice. It's basically first officer. This really helps if you are not familiar with the aircraft. Uh, it's going to help you set up the airplane. And if you are familiar with the aircraft, this gives you a lot more immersion. Because in real life, you're not going to be flying one of these by yourself. You're going to have a, a first officer. Overall, FS2 crew really brings some very nice realism to operating an airliner. And it's quite welcome. Even if you're new, you can use this. It's basically going to help you go through the flow, through the procedures. And if you're not new, it's going to give you some much appreciated realism. And this does have voice. It does have voice uh, control, so you can request like flaps, things like that. Uh, it's quite nice. I like it a lot, and I will be doing more videos showing this. Uh, I will have a link for FS Crew in my description down below. So this is the pre-flight. Uh, the pre-flight is optional, so you're not required to go through this to use FS Crew. If you want to, you can just uh, set the aircraft yourself. It should be fairly, fairly quick. And after you set the entire overhead panel, the FMC, everything, you can just keep going through this. Like before start checklist, request pushback and start clearance. Request pushback and start clearance. Ground, Blue Max, one, two, zero, one. Requesting a pushback and start clearance. Okay, clear to push and start. Blue Max, one, two, zero, one. So, for pushback, I use GSX. So, if I was going to uh, push back here, I would be requesting uh, the pushback tug from GSX. This is quite nice. It brings quite a bit of realism. That is always welcome. And if you fly on that sim, don't forget to disable things like uh, ATC requests. You're not going to be using this, I assume. And there's also the Vetsim from Spawnver. Don't forget to toggle this. So, if you're if you're on Vetsim, uh, this option will have the FO set the transponder to TARA uh, on the lineup flow as you're lining up to the runway. Uh, after landing, the FO will set the transponder to standby at the arrival gate during the pre-engine shutdown phase of the parking flow, not during the after landing flow. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, it helps me out a lot, and it also lets me know you guys are enjoying the content. And wherever you are, I hope you stay safe, fly safe. Bye-bye.